something I've been one I've been waiting to talk about since last week. I I'm glad we can talk about it now since everything's happened. Three hundred Entertainment, mm-hmm. and Mr. Trap Boy Freddy. Yep. And you're probably wondering why am I giving Trap Boy Freddy a round of applause? Because that album is great. Distractions is great. Love love him or hate him, you have to respect his pen. You have to respect in some aspect of like, wow, this guy really put together a nice rap album. And if, if you think about it, if you're from Texas, rapping is like, you know, most rappers freestyle. Mm-hmm. But with him, I think he sat down and wrote most of this stuff. I think he I think he really did sit down, wrote most of this stuff, and just thought about it for a second. And the way it was put together, the way it was written, this is a really good album. A really good album. And I know people are gonna say, well, he's dissing mode three, he's, he's doing that left and right. He's dissing mode three in like two or three songs. So songs. Not every song is about mode three. Not every song. Now, his best song is hypocrite. But Hypocrite had had already came out a long time ago. I think his best song to date is Hypocrite. If he raps like he raps on Hypocrite day in and day out, he'll be a nice artist. Yeah. The Future with Young Thug. It's called it's called Trap Boy Freddy, right? Or what is it called? Freddy. It's just called Freddy. Freddy. It's just called Freddy. Yeah. Freddy is amazing. Freddy is good. I like Freddy. That is a good album. I mean, I'm sorry, that's a good song. That's a really good song. That's gonna that's his industry song right there. That's I did like a lesson learned too. I really like that one. You like lesson yeah. and lesson learn. Lesson learn go hard. Yeah, lesson learn was crazy. I remember that day you told me to listen to it. Listen to that in shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shirt, yeah, yeah. shirt was hard. What what is that original beat to? Oh, that's uh, um Ying Yang Twin. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, the original beat is the Ying Yang Twins. Shirt is good. Uh Shirt is good. I know, and people are gonna be like, "Oh, you know, well, he's, he's, you know, he's dissing them. He's dissing the dead. He's doing all this." You gotta understand the circumstance. The circumstances yeah. was Mo three, which Mo three has he was. He started this first. He was dissing his homeboys. All his homies are dead. I understand all of this on both sides. I get it. Mm-hmm. Now, do I re- do I agree with with Trap where he says I'm gonna do this for basically two more years? No. I think after this year, I'm not gonna say let it go. I'm not gonna say walk away. I'm just gonna say leave it alone. We 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 know we know where you stand. We know where you stand, and we know where he stands. And at some point in time, they were cool with each other. Now let let's not let's not bury the hatchet. Let's just you know let's just let it die out. Let it just leave it alone. Um, well, I mean, uh, have you seen all the parts to the uh, say cheese interview? Yes. Um, how do you feel about that question that uh, that Sean Cotton asked about him being able to stay relevant, um, and w- without having to mention uh, all three, all three all the time? Yeah. Cause I feel that's kind of a t- cheap shot. I feel like Trap Boy has plenty of a, uh, and like you said, yeah, I think that people take those those comments about Mo Three and kind of blow them out of proportion. Right. But I think he, I think mm. Trap Boy has does most of his music without mentioning any of that and still continue to have like a you know a fan base you know when it comes to yeah. people who actively listen to him and you know buy you know the cool money merch and you know whatever it may be yeah he been doing it like if you go back and listen to old first if you go back to his first original mixtape first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter he was he was a one he was a one if you go back and listen to way back way back is one of my favorite songs Mm-hmm. Him and Sleazy Beasy. I've been waiting for Sleazy Beasy to come back out. <laughs> and now Trap has Trap has validated that everybody in Cool Money, uh, Big Slime Dez. I don't, I don't think it's Big Slime. I, I just is he goes by Big Slime, but I think it's I know him as Dez. Shout out to Dez. Sleazy Beasy, all these other cool money artists are coming out. Hot boy star on a cool money? I have no idea. He was uh on that on that old clip song on distraction. Ah, uh, um, that's a really good question. I didn't know if it was cool, and I'm just asking. 
That's a good question. I'll I'll try to find that out for you next week. Uh, either way, this this will be on YouTube. We know Trap. He looks at everything, sort of, kind of. Shout out to our five thousand watchers that we had on our last Trap Boy Freddy Mo Three break breakdown. Yeah. So shout out to y'all. We had like five thousand views on YouTube. Well, oh yeah, I'm about to say that was the YouTube video. That's right. Um, I ain't never I ain't never heard to say this excited to talk about an artist though. I'm gonna just let that be be known. Yes. No, they I'm, they he 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 into this. I mean, you could tell the budget was there. Like, why do you think why do you think now 300 is really putting that money behind uh Freddy like that? Because like you see the album cover, pretty pretty high quality picture. Yeah, it's, you hear, it's very you hear, high quality you hear, compared. Yeah, you hear the songs, you know, really high quality production. Why do you think now? Do you think it's because of like the Mo three? you know backlash momentum and that the labels are kind of like trying to use that to like capitalize on on the uh on what they see as like him you know kind of like picking up steam that and i don't think they knew what they had until now until now i don't think they truly knew what they had if you like i said if you go back before i thought i messed up with thug yeah. Wait, if, if Thug's if Stug still 300? Thug is still 300. He yeah. is, but they eventually, but they mismanaged him for the, for the first couple of years. All right. But they eventually figured out how to like really properly like market him and like really utilize him to his potential to where, yeah. you know, he eventually dropped, you know, you know, the really good albums. Right. So I mean, he, he, always, he always had really good albums, but like I, on, a, on a bigger scale is what I mean. Was Barter Six Young Thug? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Was that 300? I think all of them have been uh, 300 since you've okay. been signed. Well, my thing with Freddie is, yeah, they didn't know what they had. They didn't respect. I don't think they respect respected Dallas, or not Dallas, Texas artists in general. Mm-hmm. The only other Texas artist that I know is Meg The Stallion. Right. She's, uh, yeah, she's 312. Yep. She's 300, and then she was managed by 1501. Yep. And then after that, you know, after that whole misunderstanding with 1501, She's now Rock Nation, right? So you got so you got to look at like what they what they see, and like what I mean with Trap Boy, Trap Boy has been one of the most relevant artists in Dallas probably since 2016. 2016, 2015. I found out. I, yeah, I found out about him 2015. Like I said, I, I met I found out about. Yeah, I knew about Trap Boy before I know BG because I know I heard BG first on that. Uh, that B King uh, stop remix. Uh, no, 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 was it? No, it wasn't stop. It was another song. No, because no, Mo three was on the stop remix, and Beezy was on something else. But I knew about yeah, I knew about Tribal Freddy a little bit before I knew about Yellow Beezy. Right. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Zay put me on in 2016. Okay. Well, with Tribal Freddy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize that. I didn't even know that. But my thing is this. 300 didn't know how to market 300 didn't know what they had and now if you listen to hypocrite like i said mm-hmm. they probably they probably because he, he said the label didn't tell him not to put out these diss tracks the label told him oh don't put out no music you can do what you, can do what you want he just so he just did it so he put out hypocrite which is not a diss track hypocrite is telling his side of the story he told his side of the story and then after that i think 300 was like all right guys maybe we should um maybe we should do something maybe we should put this maybe we need to look into travel for it i think kevin Lyles, whoever is at 300 whoever whatever young a and r that, that that they got is like all right maybe we need to like reevaluate what's going on with this situation mind you outside outside mo3 uh bobby billions and mo3's uh scared to come outside has had been out probably a week or two and then hypocrite dropped so you had that plan and you had hypocrite playing at the same time and it's like all right maybe we need to capitalize on this so this is 300 versus empire at this point that's how i'm seeing it 300 versus empire hmm. any thoughts i really like this i really like that food stand baby song and i don't think that has anything to do with like i don't think that was like any sort of like uh you know how people are trying to spin that song as like it being uh kind of like a slight towards oh. uh or i mean oh people are saying i guess like bobby buildings being with trap boy freddy's kind of like a slight towards mo3 i don't think it's any of that to be honest no it's not it's not it wasn't it, like he said it was never his beef 
Yeah, it was never his beef to begin with. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I don't think him tr- people trying to like put his name in certain conversations. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's cool. Right, business is business at the end of the day. Uh, now, if now the one thing I did say I said he was wrong for was maybe he shouldn't have put that song out this fast. Yeah, the timing. Yeah, he probably should have waited like six months, seven months because at the end of the day, you did have a man's casket in the music video. Mm-hmm. You go back and watch outside music video. You see Mo 3's casket in the video, and I'm like, all right, maybe maybe you should have waited. By and I'm a fan of Bobby Billions. I think Bobby Billions. There's three people that I enjoy in Dallas: Shot Boy Freddie, OG Bobby Billions, and Little Ronnie Mother Effer. Mm-hmm. Little Ronnie is great. People don't give Little Ronnie his credit. Little Ronnie is great. Bobby Billions is he right now? He's four for four. He hasn't missed on a song. Mm-hmm. Freddie, Freddie is good. I, I got probably twelve or thirteen songs I listen to by Freddie daily. So, so when I'm saying like Dallas is gonna be in a good place, it's gonna be a good place. This Mo three thing is gonna Mo three is gonna sting for a little while, probably for the next three years. That's gonna sting the city. But in hindsight, the city is rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think people are still gonna be together. It continue. Yeah, it has to. It has to go forward. Now, there's a new artist on the scene. I want to say, I want to, I sent this to Jacob last week. I didn't get a chance to send it to Ricardo, but Ricardo follows me on Instagram, so he's probably clicked on the link. Mm-hmm. Ricardo, have you listened to Big X the Plug? I haven't. You haven't listened to Big X the Plug? Mm-hmm. Big X the Plug, he's, he's the next one up. Out of Dallas? He's the next one. He's the next one up. Big also, also, Ricardo. DJC guy. He, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they don't know. Hey man. Mm. He was there. He was he was there at TJC. I don't know for how long. Really? I, don't, I don't know if he graduated, but he was there. He was on, he was there, man. Hey. He was there. Okay. Because I was there, I was there with him, but I at the time he wasn't rapping. So, you know, it's just little things like that. Next one to go. Big X to plug. Look him up. My my favorite song by him is Mr. Trouble. And he has a music video out for it now. Go go and listen to it. Um, um Yeah, speaking of like up and coming artists, I just want to give a quick shout out to like all the uh you know, shout out to all the like Texas balls that have been going crazy, you know, aside from like Say Cheese, you know. Mm-hmm. Shout, out to the, shout out to the Dallas, you know, Global TVs, you know, Urban Politics out of Houston, Big Ant. Uh what else? Diamond Stone. Uh, real tunes, Fort Worth, like you know, Texas bloggers have been going crazy, like the past like few months. I mean, the past few years, you know, they they they've been doing their thing. So you know, and I watch them, you know, constantly. I'm always watching the, the you know their blogs and their interviews. So shout out, them, shout out to them guys. Watch Spliff D. Oh yeah, Spliff D. Yep, Spliff D too. Yeah, and of course, you know, Gutter TV. You know, uh, OG. <laughs> Original Gutter TV. Oh, and um. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? What's his? I know name? you like real life. Uh, Productions. Oh, really? I love real life street stars. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to be on real life street stars. I do. I'm not even a street star. I just want to be on there. <laughs> I just want to sit in the couch and yeah. all that. I've been watching them since since 2015. Yeah, I love real life street stars. They they're cool, cool people, great people. I love their whole production. 